us, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and out to ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world the welfare of the holy churches of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its presidents, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, Lord have mercy. Venerate our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. ourselves and each other in all our life and through Christ our God. Thee, o Lord. For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the 
Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. <coughs> Oh, 
Jesus, descend from on high, O merciful one. Thou didst endure the three-day burial to free us from the passions. O Lord, our life and resurrection, glory to thee. From thy youth thou hast loved Christ, O blessed one. Thou hast been an example for all by word, life, love, spirit, faith, purity, and humility. Wherefore thou dost now abide in the heavenly mansions, where thou standest before the throne of the all-holy trinity. Holy hierarchy, come pray for the salvation of our souls. <coughs> o our God, Father John, thou wast revealed as a citizen of the desert, an angel in the body and a wonder worker. Thou didst receive heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to thee by faith. Glory to him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who crowned thee. Glory to him who through thee grants healing to all. By rising from the tomb thou didst raise the dead and resurrect Adam. He exalts in thy resurrection. And the world celebrates thy rising from the dead, O great be merciful. Apostle, successor, adornment of the hierarchy, teacher of the Orthodox Church, pray to the Master of all, grant peace to the world and great mercy to our souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord truly set thee on the heights of abstinence, as a guiding star giving light to the ends of the earth, O our Father and Teacher John. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Holy art thou, our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever.
confirmed it by an oath that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we may have the strongest consolation, we who have fled for refuge to hold fast the hope set before us, which we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, and which entereth in even within the veil, where the forerunner Jesus is entered for us, made a high priest forever, According to the order of Melchizedek, brethren, walk as children of the light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is well-pleasing to God, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them, for it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret, but all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for all that is made manifest is light. Therefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See therefore that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore be not unwise, but understand what the will of God is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is debauchery, but be filled rather with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Peace be unto thee. And to thy Spirit, the Alleluia in the eighth tone. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to God our Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. May God, through the prayers of the 
apostle and evangelist Mark enabled thee to proclaim the glad tidings of great power to the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. With songs and rites, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to Mark. Glory to thee, O Lord. At that time, one of the multitude came to Jesus, bowing before him, he said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit, and wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answereth him, and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. And he asked his father, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. And they departed thence and passed through Galilee, and he would not that any man should know it. For he taught his disciples and said unto them, the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. At that time there followed Jesus great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye, 
when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. To thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikon, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have Blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation, for the newly departed priest Ignatius, Reader Vasily, Clem, Cheryl, John, Emmanuel, Stephen, Lev, Terry, Nathan, Boris, and Natalie, and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox, the part of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God. Metropolitan Tikon, Metropolitan Hermann, Metropolitan John, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, and Bishop Alexis, Archimandrite Sergius, Sigimans, Leonti, Gabriel, and Cyprian, Archbishop John, Stephen, Alexander, and Daniel, Ira Monks, and Akenti, and Hermann, Priest Ignatius, Michael, and Michael, Ira Deacon, Mark, Monks, Nicodemus, and Kirill, Rossifor, Monks, Michael, Anton, Stephen, Stephanos, George, Paul, and Michael. Novices Andrew and Jeremiah, Subdeacon Martin, readers John, Ezekiel, Paul, Benedict, Richard, and Joshua, Ross, Fornan, and Ufria, Montes, Christian, and Catherine, Dorothy, Alexander, Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail, Dolores, and Rachel, Mary, Judith, Ann, Patrick, Maria, Anastasia, Eugene, Patrick, John, Christopher, John, Matthew, Earl, Jim, Matthew, Eric, and Seraphim, Jerusalem, Magnia, Brian, David, Mark, Olga, William, Kathleen, Natalia, Ann, Christine, Daniel, Samuel, Priest, Jeremiah, Katerina, Derek, Alexei, Cynthia, Mary, Jacob, Sonia, Mark, Michelle, Stamatios, Tom, Andrew, Elizabeth, and Katerina, Archpriest, Moses, Anton, Lorraine, Katie, John, Alexander, Charlie, Maria, Christopher, Delfino, Andrew, Constantinos, DJ, Olga, Isaiah, and Andrea, Arlene, Elizabeth, Nathan, George, Mary Ann, Linda, Yuri, Vyacheslav, Nina, Nina, Macrina, Jeff, and Stephen, all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for a cessation of the hostilities in Ukraine, and that reconciliation and peace will flourish there. We pray be hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord Fall down before thee and cry. Heal the sickness, heal the passions of soul and body of thy servants. 
Archbishop Paul, Archbishop John, Archbishop John, Archbishop John, Archbishop Moses, Priest James, John Mabil, Mertius Seraphim, Machka Dolores, Shimra, Anne, Clem, Monk Nicodemus, Rostra Monks Anton and Barnabas, Natalia Dafino, Nathan Fenn, Cynthia, Valerie, Mary, Monk Curiel, Jan, Marie, Sophia, Zora, Andrew, Elizabeth, Carol, Anna Maria, Courtney, Daniel, Arlene, Kathy, Montesca, Elizabeth, Ethokia, Anne, Infant Thomas, Elena, Hannah, Gabriel, George, Constantina, Nathan, ha Sila, Seal, George, Susan, Brooke, Alex, Chris, Katerina, Michael, Christine, Christina, Lynn, Nicole, Derek, Charlie, Susan, Galena, Brian, Davis, Joanna, Infant, Anna, Rosemary, Joanna, Rick, Alexander, Anna, Michael, Vincent, Karen, David, Christina, Priscilla, and in my loving kindness, pardon all their sins, whether voluntary and voluntary, quickly raise them up in their bed of sickness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray thee, O Lord our God, have mercy on thy servants, Anton and Katharina, Jeff, Olex, Irina, and the orphans with her. Heather, Pavel, and Betsy, and Fanny, all Ukrainian refugees, Matushka, Emilia, Sophia, Anna, Stephen, Deacon Luke, Liz, Priscilla, through thy grace and compassion, fulfilling all their petitions, forgiving all their sins, accept their prayers and all before the throne of thy dominion, and protect them from enemies, both visible and invisible, delivering them from temptation and sorrow, danger and disease, and granting them health and length of days. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou art merciful, God, and love us, mankind, but to thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
kindred, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, and let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, and mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That God and always by thy might you may send out glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Bishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The right reverend out of his holy monastery, Archimandrite, Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. This country is president to all civil authorities and those who serve in the armed forces. 
May the Lord God remember his kingdom always now and ever in the two ages of Asia. The clergy and monastics and all that are persecuted and suffer for the Orthodox faith, the founders, benefactors, and brotherhood of this holy temple, the faculty, seminarians, and staff and administration, may the Lord God remember his kingdom always now and ever in the two ages of Asia. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember his kingdom always now and ever in the two ages of Asia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. With whom thou art blessed together with thine, all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity one in the doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ the Son of God. The only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of my true God, of true God, 
begotten, not made, no one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who first then and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge for baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead,
disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins.
Grant and for thy holy churches and peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, right that you divide the word of thy truth. Through the 
grace and compassion and love towards mankind and thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed together with thine awfully good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Son, 
This kind that comes forth by nothing cannot be healed but simply by prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting are the principal means of struggle against the evil one. These are the two wings that carry us to the heights of heaven. Today, as we gather and we are preparing ourselves for the Holy Eucharistic meal, we are reminded of what the purpose of our Lenten journey towards Pascha is going to be like. It is bringing us closer to God, bringing God to our lives. This Sunday, the Church remembers St. John of the Ladder, a great aesthetical father of the Church who taught man how to translate our hope and desire of our destination to the heavenly kingdom into a reality through spiritual effort, through work, and through struggle. St. John wrote of these things, if we are willing to strive to be with our Father, we must climb the rings of the divine ladder, starting from the bottom, one ring at a time, ascending to the very top. Prayer and fasting, as Christ mentions in today's Gospel reading, are two important elements that St. John of the Ladder speaks of frequently. Through prayer, a man directly communicates with God. He tells him our pains, our sorrows, and our problems. We ask for guidance and understanding, forgiveness of our sins, and hopefully we share with God and are thankful for the many joys and blessings that He has provided us with. Our prayer is a threefold one. The first one is our silent prayer in which we direct our intellectual thoughts towards God. We think about God and without asking for anything specific, we remain in prayerful communion with Him. The second is our formal prayer, whereby we read words prescribed by the tradition of our church, which are written by holy people and are written in such a way that they are suitable for all peoples and at all times. And the third element is our informal prayer, by which we speak our own words as they come to mind in particular moments. Every prayer of ours has a special meaning, for it brings us into correct and direct communication with God. God rejoices to behold our prayerful attitude, and He responds to our possessions in a way that are beneficial for our spiritual life. He is our Creator and He knows what is best for us and what is useful for us at any given time. The fact that we cannot always comprehend God's answers to our prayers does not mean that He is not listening to us or helping us. Our understanding of what is useful to us is not always conduced with God's knowledge for what is in our best interest. Fasting, the second wing which will help us to travel towards heaven, is also vitally important. Before beginning to preach the gospel, the Saviour himself fasted for 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. The Lord prepared himself in the wilderness where the conditions were harsh. He prepared himself and he went to the desert to pray and to fast, knowing very well that the people he was praying and fasting for were the same people that would hang him to the cross and nail him to his death. By prayer and fasting, the God-man prepared himself for his mission. By prayer and fasting, Christ the man prepared himself to the extent that he was able to conquer Satan and his temptations. Strengthened by prayer and fasting, Christ utterly rejected Satan in the name of mankind. Through this example, the Lord showed all of his followers and his disciples that fasting is vitally important for our spiritual life. In fact, fasting represents the difference between life and death. The first Adam did not keep the fast, and though he died, the second Adam, as Christ is called, kept the fast, and as a result, life returns to the world. The God-man has risen from the dead. By his resurrection, he gives those that follow him, and his resurrection, an everlasting life. We should not forget, dear brethren, furthermore, that the fast is twofold, both a physical one and a spiritual one. We fast physically when we refrain from eating non-Lenten foods and spiritually when we are careful about what we say and what we think. It will not be helpful if we fast physically and at the same time we have bad thoughts or envy or hatred about our neighbour. If we gossip, if we slander, 
if we behave in an absurd manner or commit any of our transgressions by word, thought or deed. Let love conquer all. Let us keep in our hearts the call of forgiveness, repentance, humility and above all, love. Love for your neighbour, but more importantly, love for thy enemy. Let us hear the call to ascend, in which St. John concludes the ladder of divine ascent by saying, Brethren, let us ascend vigilantly, laying the ascent of our hearts. Let us no longer pollute ourselves, heeding the prophet who said, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord in peace. Let us suffer in silence to the house of the Lord, our Father who loves us, Unconditionally. Amen. Brazil. transgressions both voluntary and involuntary of word and of deed committed in knowledge or in ignorance and make me worthy to partake with thy condemnation of thy most pure mysteries for the remission of my sins and to life everlasting amen of thy mystical supper O son of god accept me today as a communicant for i will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies neither like judas will i give thee a kiss but like the thief will i confess thee remember me o lord in thy kingdom may the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body.
O God, save thy people and bless thy inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. unto the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever in our two ages of ages.
So please bear that in mind. We'll be number 11 after the service today. Please pray for Father Sergius as he travels. He has she who is quick to hear and gone to visit Holy Cross Hermitage in West Virginia. We'll be back tomorrow. Please continue to bear the struggles of the fast and work your way toward Holy Pasta with humility and joy. Thank thee, O Lord, my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee for thou hast permitted me the unworthy to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gave us these dread and life-giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace, and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. Praising the, passing from this life in the hope of eternal life, may I attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God. And all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master, our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I pray, therefore, thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good, and to thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely hast thou given me thy body for my food. O thou who art of fire, consuming the unworthy, let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings, make firm my joints and bones, and illumine my five senses. Nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone, and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire, as I become thy house through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept thy their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one. And to thee, our Master and God, do we send up glory day by day. Our Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory at thy dread second coming through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, my joy, I thank thee for though, although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy son. Give, light, give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light, enliven me who am dead in by sin, thou that givest birth to the fountain of immortality, have mercy on me, O loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and make me worthy even to my last breath to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I might praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and of the ages of ages. Amen. Thy proclamation has gone out into all the earth, which has divinely taught by hearing thy voice. Thou didst expound the nature of creatures, and didst ennoble the manners of men. O venerable Father of royal priesthood, entreat Christ God that our souls may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast revealed as a sure foundation of the church, granting all men a lordship which cannot be taken away, sealing it with thy precepts, O venerable Bazer, revealer of heaven. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Steadfast protectors of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our God, through the prayers of our most pure mother, of our venerable and God-bearing Father, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind.